Hey, it's you. No, really, the hit series is back for its fourth season. And while not everyone has made it alive this far, Mary Ann, played by Tati Gabrielle, has. But is she safe? Well, that's a whole other question entirely. Take a look. Why are you here? Someone. Oh, did someone break your heart? Did you break my heart, Marianne? I walked along the avenue. Heartbreak is always a catalyst for a new path. You're a murderer, Joe. You're wrong about me. I'm gonna prove it to you. Oh, and Tati is with us now. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. You have such great things going on. Thanks. So we have a lot of fun things to talk about. We're gonna start with you. Okay. Um, fans are so excited that it is back. Um, where do things, it's a new city, kind of a new new vibe. Where mm -hmm. do things pick up? Um, so we pick up where we left off, where, you know, Joe left Madre Linda, um, killed his wife, staged his, uh, you know, his, his suicide. As, normal as people things. do. Exactly, you know, yeah. normal things. Um, and he's on the hunt to find Marianne um, in Paris and yeah. somehow winds up in London. Um, so we pick up Joe in London, um, starting his new life. Um, and yeah, he falls into a group of socialites um, that takes him on a new journey uh -huh. of trying to find the killer and this whodunit sort of situation. Yeah, I yeah. love kind of the twist of this season. Mm -hmm. There's this unexpected murder, um, you know, as far as we've we've seen. Were you holding your breath with every page of the script? Did you get the whole thing at once? No. So like, I had to get them like sort of weekly um, or like monthly, really rather. And like, of course, How holding my breath. Is that though? It's when you so get it, you're like, it's okay. Right. I'm like, it's like, oh my god. Like, it's like, especially because I was such a huge fan of the show before I got on it, like from season three to season four, I'm like, oh my God, Sarah, you just keep us like jumping out of our seat. Like, oh, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. 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 I mean, I love it too. And, and your character, Marianne, managed to escape Joe, mm. which is, you know, an impossible feat if you watch the show. Right. But what do you love most about playing her? Um, I love how grounded Marianne is yeah. um, and how like she, like with what Sarah did to keep her realism and, and she does have all of these flaws, but she's Truly, uh, I don't know, I, I love how human she is in the way that she's fighting against that every single day. All of all of her struggles, her addictions, her trying to stay with her daughter. Like, And so I just, I really love that Marianne is a fighting mom. Yeah. Um, and she's she's championing herself as well as her child. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, speaking of fighting, you're also like, you're really a black belt in real life, right? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Are we going to see you use that at all to like defend Joe? You know, I defend mean, yourself you see me running Joe? in that trailer? Like, yes, I, I got yeah. stamina. No, we, yes. we're with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're also on another great show. I got I jumped into this last night. It's also on Netflix. It's called Kaleidoscope. Mm. And, and so the thing that's different about this show is that it's a non-linear right. show, which means you can watch it in any order mm -hmm. you want, which mm -hmm. is not... I don't know that any other show that really does no, that, right? Like this was the first time that Netflix had done something like this, um, where our, our episodes are by color, not by number. So it gives the audience a, a, a chance to be a part of the story in the way, or sort of pick their way through it. How do they want to watch it? Um, I was seeing all of these really cool things on Instagram that people have like made like ways, like the Tarantino way, like watching that's a Tarantino oh, film, yes. or if you want to see it as Orange is the New Black. And I'm like, that's so cool. So like that's what you know, it, it creates an experience yeah. for you that's beyond just watching a. TV show, you get to be in it yourself. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like a lot of movies shoot out of order, mm -hmm. but TV shows don't really get the chance to do that, right? So does it change how you do the show or how you approach your character at all? Um, not not necessarily. It actually, what I loved about filming this was we got all of these scripts at once because you know we're jumping through a timeline and you yeah. have to know your character inside and out True. to yeah. know where you're gonna be at. What like how am I feeling six weeks for ago versus five days before the heist? Like, um, so actually no, I because I, I come from theater and having that model to have yeah. all of the scripts at once yeah. helped like was. Yeah, really reminiscent of, of my theater experience, so I loved yeah, it. Yeah, it is kind of nice to have everything fleshed out for you. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I do like the excitement of the one script at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. Right, right, because it's like, because uh, like, it makes you feel like, you know, you're watching it the same way the audience will. Yes, like, you're oh, like, oh, I, I get to have fun with this too. Exactly. All right, well, you have so much stuff going on. You gotta come back. I, just I would love, love your too. energy. Too. Thank so, you. <laughs> you can catch you on February 9th and Kaleidoscope is streaming. Kaleidoscope is streaming right now, both on Netflix.